When we look at the health span of humans, cancer remains a huge issue, so we have to cure it. I had felt a lump in 2009. My doctor, she said, don't worry about it. The following year, I still felt this lump and it seemed like a little bit bigger than before. I was worried that we would go for an ultrasound. We went from ultrasound to a mammogram to a biopsy. I was diagnosed with breast cancer stage 2B. I was diagnosed three months before my wedding date. And then immediately following the honeymoon, I had to start chemo. At Pfizer, we have been leveraging our in-depth knowledge in breast cancer, along with cutting-edge science. Pfizer has a strong legacy in breast cancer, more than 20 years. Most patients develop resistance to standard-of-care therapies. We have to outsmart the tumor. The treatment path was already daunting to have to do chemotherapy, knowing that I had to lose my hair. My job really is to develop more effective and more safe drugs against breast cancer. The CDK4 selective inhibitor is a new generation of cell cycle inhibitor, or what we call next generation of cell cycle inhibitor. My team has been working on discovery of this novel class of enzyme um, target in breast cancer called CAT6. We have developed a potentially first in cast selective novel inhibitor, which can inhibit the growth of breast cancer cells. It would be an entirely new class of medication. Drug resistance remains a huge problem, so this is something we are trying to address by developing these next generation cell cycle inhibitors. There has been no precedence of any molecule within this class of enzymes in the clinic yet, so we are pretty much potentially leaders in the field. Sean was born May 21st, 2017. It was just such a joy to be able to hold him in my arms and realize that I had a family. Thinking back and, you know, when I was first diagnosed, crying my eyes out, I didn't know what was going to happen. It's heartwarming to know that there's scientists and colleagues around at Pfizer that are thinking about making things easier for people. I feel very optimistic that this next generation of treatment options will make a meaningful and impactful difference for patients living with cancer.